Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Hoare, and today is Treatment Tuesday, and this week's patient is Sierra Buck. Sierra is a bar instructor at Pure Bar in Knoxville as well. You're a dance instructor too, right? Yes. Where's at that? Artistic Dance Unlimited in Alcoa. There you go. Awesome. Touch your chin all the way down to your chest. Any stiffness or discomfort with that? Yes. Where? It's through the back of my neck. Okay. Look back as far as you can. Any discomfort there? Same. Just Same the place? center more. Okay. Uh, keep your body neutral. Turn your head to the left as far as you can. Any discomfort there? Through the right side. And all the way on the right. And that's pretty stiff and limited. Yeah. So that that's same the discomfort. Same spot. All right. Can you face the wall here with your right arm? Reach down the middle of your back as far as you can. Good. Now the other side. Very good. Now reach below as high. Any uh, discomfort with those arm movements? Um, the one with my right arm behind my back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bend over. Touch your toes. Any discomfort there? Just in that right hamstring. The hammy. So put your hands over your head, lean back as far as you can. And what do you feel right there? Not really okay. anything. Okay, face directly, feet together mm -hmm. all the way. Twist to your right as far as you can until you're looking. Twist your hips and everything. Good, and now the left. Good, any stiffness, discomfort? To the right, it felt like it wasn't as loose to twist. Okay, feet about shoulder width apart, uh, a little bit wider. Put your hands over your head, wide as low as you can. Good, and coming up. Pain, stiffness, discomfort, any anything? No. Okay, all right, so show me that uh, one of the sit-ups or one of the poses that where you can really tell uh, that your neck is bothering you. Um, probably, it kind of starts from here and it goes into, say I'm doing a full body sit-up. It's this first motion. Okay. So trying to keep my feet and coming up till about right there is where I feel it. And you felt it just now? Yeah, on okay. that right side. All right, and then you feel it during a push-up? Yes. Can you flip around and show us a couple of push-ups? So it's only if I'm doing like a wide bicep push-up. Okay. And it's on the descent and going back up. And you feel it in that neck area? Yeah, and okay. that one kind of spans like down the shoulder a okay. little bit. Okay, so we went over Sierra's x-ray as well as her old uh, examination forms. We did a little bit of a movement assessment and we saw there was definitely some limitation and uh, strain with her neck movements, with her shoulder movements, and even some irritation and limitation with some of her rotational movements. So we're going to go over all that sort of stuff and see what we can do to help her today. So um, Sierra's got a few things that you're dealing with. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I've been dealing with some neck pain. Um, it kind of started in college. I had like a random crick in my neck. And from then, I just could never figure out what was wrong with it. Uh, I went to a few doctors, and they kind of just wanted to give me pain meds to okay. make it go away mm -hmm. rather than kind of fixing the problem. Um, so. I ended up finding a chiropractor um, in college, and then since I've moved back to Tennessee, I have found this chiropractor, and I really enjoy it. Um, I have some lower back pain as well, but it's on the opposite side as my neck pain. Okay. So I don't know if there's a reason for that opposing force, mm -hmm. um, but it goes basically from my bra line down into my glutes. Mm -hmm. um, so that, those are my two biggest problems, and I'm having a little bit of a hamstring problem on the right side too, so. Okay, all right, so we've got neck, <laughs> we've got glute, we've got zigzag. hamstring. All right. Yeah. If you had to pick which uh, one to get rid of completely, which one would you pick? Probably the neck pain. Okay. Okay, so I'd like, I definitely feel some restrictions in your neck. I'd like to do a neck adjustment, okay? Are you okay. comfortable with that? Yes. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. How you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. All right, All right and then a little bit right in there. You ready over here? Yes. Okay. 
Good. All right, so some muscle tests. You ready? Okay. So make a fist. What I'm going to do is push your elbow down. Good. And resist just like that. But just stand your ground. You okay. don't have to... You don't have to win. Yeah. Okay. Pushing down. Again. Not so good. No. Okay. Any discomfort there? No. All right. So that was the coracobrachialis muscle. All right. And the nerves that control that come out of your neck right here. So even though we did, already did a couple of neck adjustments, we want to get right on that segment and stimulate it. Okay. Okay. Make a fist, pushing down. A bit stronger, yeah? Yeah. Good. Now put your thumb and your pinky together. What I'm going to do is pull them apart. Don't let me do that. Come on. Not so great. All right, so I'm going to go to a segment a little bit lower. Right there. Good. Thumb pinky. Pulling apart. Not so great. Okay, relax. So sometimes when we don't get those uh, muscles firing, it indicates a little bit of an issue with the wrist or your fingers. Put your thumb and pinky together like this. Pull it apart. A little bit better, yeah? Yeah. And I'm going to pull out like that. Okay. Don't let me do that. Very strong. Great. Okay. Make a fist. I'm going to push down. Don't let me. Go. Awesome. Hold it right there. I'm pushing out like that. Don't let me. Pushing that way. Don't let me. Really good. Relax. Make a fist. I'm going to push down. Don't let me. Pretty good. No irritation? Mm, a little bit. It was irritation. Labrum area. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good. So what I'm going to do then is do a little adjustment because that's the crocobrachialis muscle, like I said. And so I'm going to adjust your AC joint. So let that go right here. Good. Make a fist. Push him down. Good. Same irritation? No. Good. All right. Thumb and pinky. Pulling apart. Don't let me. Not so good. No. Okay. We'll go with that lower segment of your neck here. And yeah, definitely a little bit of stuff there. Good. Thumb pinky. Pull it apart. Better, yeah? Yes. I'm going to pull that way with your elbow. Okay. Don't let me do that. Again, not good, huh? No. Right. So my thumb gets in your, goes in your armpit. I'm going to wrap my hand around your shoulder blade. Okay. Get it all up in your grill here. We're going to adjust the rib cage underneath your shoulder blade. So I'm going to grab your elbow, you're going to relax it, and the adjustment's going to be done like that. Okay. Take a deep breath, breathe out. Very good. Okay. Elbow in at your side, pulling out, don't let me. Night That's and day, right? Me. Yeah. Pretty cool. Make a fist, push them down, don't let me. Again. Very strong. Thumb like that. I'm going to push that way. Don't let me. Again, not as strong, right? Sorry, right. can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, she knows. But yeah. That's funny. So relax. Right. What I'm going to do is adjust where your clavicle meets your sternum right here so we can see if we could turn on these pec muscles that weren't firing. Good. Hold it right there. Pushing that way. Stronger, yeah? Yeah. Pushing that way. Very good. Okay. A couple other ones. Straighten your hand. I'm pulling towards me. Don't let me. Not great, right? Yeah. Did it hurt? Um, a little bit in that. Kind of more to the back of the shoulder, though. Okay. So what, what we just tested week was the biceps. And what it's looking for is this bicipital tendon as it starts in the shoulder and goes down. Sometimes it gets a little stuck outside of its uh, groove. So what I'm doing is putting it back in its groove, and I know it's very tender, right? Yes. Good. 
Straighten your hand. Pulling towards me. Don't let me. Again, did nothing. Okay. And that hurt pretty good, too, yeah. still, right? <laughs> okay. Tell you what. Straighten your hand. I'm going to push towards you. Don't let me. Good. Okay. Pushing down. Oh. Yeah, pretty yeah, that painful. Yeah, really bad. Okay, so I'm going to do an adjustment right here with the shoulder. So try to relax. Good. Hold it right there. Pushing down. Still not pretty good. Okay. Put your chin to your chest. Breathe out. Good. And a little bit more. Good. Hold it right there. Pushing down. A bit better, yeah? Yeah. Good. Straighten your hand. I'm going to pull towards me. Don't let me. Yeah. Now that's firing. Good. We got that going. I'm going to do some muscle tests. I'm going to push down like so. Don't let me do that. Okay. Ready? Again. Pretty strong. Good. Pushing down. Don't let me. Ah. Not so good. Yeah. That hurt at all? A little bit. I had a pop kind of in there. Okay. All right, so your hip flexor tested weak. Your hip flexors, the nerve roots that come out of right there is what supports that. So I'm gonna bring you over here, see if we can't press reset on it. And you are bendy, huh? Breathe out. Very good. Pushing down, don't let me. Oh, that's so better. A little better, <laughs> huh? Yeah. All right, keep your legs together. I'm gonna pull this leg towards me. Don't let me do that. Ready? Again, not great. We're gonna do that on the other side, pushing just this leg that way. Ready, go. Again, a little stronger. Mm -hmm. Not significantly though. I wanna check some other stuff. Pushing down and in. Again, not great. Down and in. Again, not great. All right. Muscle test. I'm gonna push down, don't let me. Ready, again. Not so great. Pushing down, don't let me. Really strong. It's ready to go, isn't it? All right, breathe out. Good. Uh, oh, no, it was other. Pushing down, don't let me. Way better, yes? Yes. Okay, good. Now, which, um, which hamstring? It's this one, and it's more on the outside of the thigh. Okay. Point to exactly where it is. It's kind of down the side right here, but okay. more like in the back, like dead center. Okay. All right. So what's going to happen <laughs> is we're going to do a myofascial release with your glutes, probably your hamstrings. So I'll grab. Ready? Go. Further, 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 further. Come on back. And again, go. Does this hurt? Further. It hurts when I go further. <laughs> Where does it, is, does it hurt in that it's spot? It's kind of like there. Okay, ready to go. Okay. Again. That's as far as you can go, huh? Yeah. Because if you go any further, it hurts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, relax your second. I'm going to grab your hip flexors. When I say so, you're going to straighten and come back as far as you can and then back to the start. Okay. Okay, start relaxed. Go for it. Good, and back to the start. Again, go. Okay, back to the start. Again, go. Back to start. Last one. Go, 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 go. Where? That is so painful. Just the skin right there? No, like that muscle. Yeah. So I'm doing a little bit of what we call active release technique. And I'm feeling for where the tension is in your, uh, in your muscles. That's what's very sensitive. And that is yeah. where it is.
So I'm going to get in here with two thumbs and I want you to straighten your knee all the way. Bent. And go. Okay, back up. And go. Okay, good. Floor. A little bit better, yeah? Yeah. All right, good. Hold this in your left hand. Bend your left knee. Straighten your arm. Good. Arm down by your side. Keep your teeth together. Touch your chin up to your chest. And down. And again. I didn't feel anything. Good. Give me 10. That first exercise where we had you laying on your back and you were kind of tucking to your chin, but you're holding the weight in the one side. What was that like for you? Um, definitely a lot of strain in the right side at first. But okay. Once we kind of switched the hands and did the other side, I could see where it would build strength yeah. by doing it on the opposite side. What we did was we just engaged your stabilizers. And I don't think your stabilizers were firing when you move your neck. Mm -hmm. So we turned them on first and then had you do that flexion pattern. And suddenly there was way less discomfort. The range was pretty good. And we're able to start helping out. Extend your right arm and your left leg back like Superman does. Hold it right there. Then tuck your chin to your chest all the way and back to neutral. And down. Good. Does that hurt? Not really, no. Good. Switch arms and legs. Tuck your chin to your chest. Good. And back. No pain? That one pulls a little bit on that right side of the neck. Okay, good. So go back to the first one. Right arm, left leg, hold it there and give me 10 reps. Yeah. The second exercise, um, we, we kind of took it to the next level. So in a, in a quadruped position, you have to control more your body weight. So it's a little bit more difficult. And we found the right core engagement and then put your chin to your chest. So we're kind of uh, moving you to the next level where it's a more functional sort of thing. From here. Okay, I'm gonna push from here. I'm gonna push from here. Good, now chin to chest. Good, two more. Last one. Good, okay, relax. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's our treatment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did that go overall? It went well. I definitely think those exercises will help with strengthening my weaker right side. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, we were able to address your neck, but I think with your lower back and your hips, and particularly that hamstring, we felt that knot in your your uh, the lateral head of your uh, of your hamstrings. I think there's a little bit more work to do with you. Uh, so if you'd like to come back, we could certainly set that up for you. Okay. But thank you so much for being such a great patient. You were thank a great you. sport today. Uh, you can find Sierra at Pure Bar in Knoxville, as well as in Artistic Alcoa. Artistic Dance Unlimited. <laughs> Artistic Dance Unlimited in Alcoa. Uh, thanks so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and uh, we'll see you out next Treatment Tuesday.